Hi, welcome back. This is Rick. This is the update to the Ross Carrier deck system. This is version 2. A lot of new features, which I'm going to go through now. The Ross Carrier deck system for Armour 3 is a fully automated aircraft carrier with air traffic control, deck rotation and parking, automatic launch and landing systems for both AI and players. It fully supports mods. For this demo, I'm using Firewall's Aviation Pack, JRS, RHS and Blastcore. When you get in the plane, you get a little hint telling you what to do. Set up your plane, fold your wings, set the engine on, do your loadouts. This is the built-in functionality of firewalls. Then request, if you have the option, re request taxi and launch. You only get that option, obviously, if there's no incoming or inbound traffic. USS Freedom, control. You are cleared for takeoff. Traffic, 6 o'clock, radar contact 3 miles southwest. Weather office for the period to zero hundred hours. Reports there is a storm approaching, so expect some rain and turbulence. Have a good day. You can now set if you wanted to come back and land, you can either land manually or you can set it to autopilot landing and then it will handle the entire process. Okay, here's a quick demo of the AI rapid launch across four lanes, uh, catapult lanes. Uh, this is using Zeus to, to view it. So if you see yellow arrows on the deck, those are markers for the Zeus uh, player. If he was to modify the deck, he could move the, play, the planes around and place them on those markers. To the normal player on the deck, they'd never see any of this stuff. So we're kind of looking at it in an external third person sort of god mode, basically. Alright, and the UCAB Sentinel support, which was a feature asked for by quite a number of people. You see the new steam effect. You have the option of using emails or steam. Emails is electromagnetic, so you don't see steam, obviously. I like the steam effect. The UK Sentinel can then be controlled can then be controlled remotely using a tablet. I'm taking over control of the the UK Sentinel. So you've got two options. Take over driver or take over gunner. I'm gonna control the gunner. Now I am standing on the deck of the carrier using a tablet controlling the UCAV Sentinel's onboard weapon system. Now we're getting on to the inbound traffic control system. You can see this is like morning rush hour, so we've got like four planes or three planes ahead of us. Now they're all being given a go around because the deck is currently busy. When you get given a go around, it automatically cancels autopilot landing, so you are forced to take control, you can't just continue and land. This just to illustrate what would happen if you accidentally left the throttle in the forward position when you got into the plane. The plane pulls forward maybe 10 meters off position and you need to reverse it. If you bind the backslash key, which is the default key for the uh, air brake, 
you can then reverse the claim back into its original position. Obviously, uh, the level of control it needed to be able to do this without, firstly, the plane doesn't reverse, and secondly, to try and rotate the plane back and put it, position it perfectly given the limited amount of deck space would be almost impossible without a reverse key. The carrier deck system, when it starts up, automatically positions uh, guided missile launching systems and phalanx close-in weapon supply weapon systems around the various points on the carrier, and it also has an automatic ammunition replenishment system and a respawn system when they if they get destroyed. Paradic is a dangerous place, and um, to reiterate that, um, standing in the jet blast behind the plane where it accelerates is really not a good idea. It will either blow you off the deck or kill you, or both. Unfortunately, there's no specific animation for being blown backwards, but uh, I made a rather, I used a rather funny sort of kind of running and falling, falling on the floor kind of animation, which sort of works. It's more fun than anything else. The carrier deck system has three different methods of getting you back on board or rescuing you. If you fall off the deck uh, within 150 meters of the, uh, of the carrier, you will automatically be positioned, repositioned back on the deck after a few seconds. Uh, if you are less than 600 meters from the carrier, you will they'll send out a boat to collect you. Um, or if you have uh, one of two mods loaded, to your last known coordinates. ETA is five mics. Such as RHS USAF, then it will automatically detect the mod is installed and then put a create a boat, uh, sorry, a helicopter, stick it on the deck, create its crew. Uh, there's a nice custom skin for the RHS uh, uh, SAR helicopter. And uh, that these vehicles will automatically respawn if they get destroyed. In this case, obviously, we're quite close to the to the uh, carrier, I need to get uh, destroyed by the overzealous uh, pilot, or captain, driver, whatever. So anyway, so he's going to take me back. These things have got lights built onto them, so at night time they, they look kind of cool, and uh, they fire flares. Um, if you, as I said, if you're over 600 meters away, then they send out a helicopter to pick you up. Car 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 the copter comes down, lands right next to you in the water, uh, hovers just above the water, you get in, and, uh, and it takes you back to the, and deposits you back on the deck.
the Ross Carry deck system has a, a wet and dry deck uh, simulation system so that when it rains, it looks like the carrier is obviously getting wet. And so what happens is the deck will obviously gradually get wet and then when the sun comes out, clears up, you'll see the, the deck dry out gradually over time. So it sort of creates a reasonably realistic uh, system. It has very limited impact because it's client-side. I think it adds a bit to the ambience and the immersion. Excuse the pun. The airplane kind of roll back and forth. You change the loose, hooks is upside down, it comes off. You find upside down hooks, loose chains, and stuff like that, okay? If, if the weather gets bad, you want to do it all the time, you know, because you never know when it's going to start sliding. The Ross Carrier Deck system has full integrated Zeus, which allows a player who's taken over the position of Zeus to switch into third-person mode, which you're watching now, and actually modify the the deck contents while the game is actually in progress. So they can add planes, uh, move them around the deck, and delete them. Obviously not a good idea to do this while the deck rotation is taking place or while the player, for example, is landing or trying to take off. Uh, as a Zeus, you need to be a responsible human being, which probably is not doesn't apply to most people. But anyway, the point is that you, you can abuse your power. With great power comes great responsibility. And looking after the carrier is kind of important. And you obviously don't want to be too... You don't want to break immersion by having planes materialize out of thin air. The plane deliberately, when it, when planes are spawned, are destroyed. It doesn't spawn planes back on the deck. They spawn out about four kilometers away, and then they fly in and land. So the replenishment process seems realistic. So the only problem with this is that, you know, you're actually physically like a hand of God coming in and picking up planes and moving them around and rotating them and dropping planes on the deck kind of ruins the immersion. So it needs to be used with a uh, certain amount of limitation or control. ATC systems online. Planes so that are within 500 meters or half a kilometer of the carrier will generate a sonic boom if they're traveling at the right speed. Here's the Zeus perspective of the deck rotation system in operation. Running at four times normal game simulation speed. And obviously this perspective is only visible of the game, is only visible to the Zeus controller. Well, thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed this. There's going to be a lot more content and videos coming soon, uh, so I'll see you soon. Cheers. If you enjoyed this content and are new to this channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button and the bell next to it, so you can get notified when we release new content. As always, thanks for watching, and see you next time.